Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today we're going to be continuing my Build a City challenge at Haven Rock. Uh, so this is the city as it is at the moment, still very much a village, although if we zoom out, we've got a few more things built, town hall, the pub starting to take shape further down the island. Uh, but we're going back, we left the mayor last episode over here. We're now back into the Stormy Cove area. I do find a bit more hood deco, I'm now obsessed. And I've made this properly into a pier with a little boat, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, and today we're going to be experimenting a bit with how I play. Um, with the last video, it ended up being a very large recording file, so it took me a long time to get around to editing it to find the time to do that. So my plan today is we're going back to Freddy, he's next on the rotation, Freddy and Monica. And we are going to play them for three days of autumn, rather than the five days for the full rotation. And we'll do that for everyone, we'll go around for three days, and then come back to Freddy again and do the final bits of the rotation in their own videos. I'm saying that now, I'll try it out, at least for this video, see how it works. And do let me know which you prefer, whether you like one whole scene in a video, might be a bit longer, a bit choppier, or going a bit more into detail on these three days, just let me know in the comments below. So let's join Freddy and Monica and see how they're getting on. So here they are, back with Freddy and Monica. They are starting the season as they mean to go on, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so last time we left them, they were engaged, but not rolling. Anyone wants to be married at all. Uh, we've had a whole season run through um, going around the town. So let's check in with some relationships and see how Freddy's looking. He still has three bolts with Monica, which is absolutely adorable. Oh, but he also has three bolts with Jill Smith. Fantastic. And of course with Eloise. Oh, yes, of course. He went to Eloise's right after she gave birth and they kissed in the garden and they fell in love. So he's achieved his second love. He now wants to have three at once and to be best friends with Zoe, although he doesn't have any chemistry with her that I can see. And what about Monica? So still three bolts with Freddie. She does have a bolt and a friendship with Leo at this stage. That's pretty good. Uh... And also kind of attracted to Joe Graham, but we'll just let that be. So I don't plan to move these two out of their house at the moment. This is a perfect size for them as they currently are. We'll be running Freddy's shop, building that up, and uh, just enjoying their relationship as well. And hopefully making a few more friends, especially with the new people in town. Uh, Freddy's made a couple of friends. Monica has also, she's friends with Zoe, friends with Hikari. So the house is looking okay, we need to do some weeding. They've still got a very... Um, their house still has a lot more things than many people in the town. They've got a television, they've got their oven, and uh, Freddy can certainly make sandwiches, so <laughs> that's, that's what's for lunch. Monica, you asleep? Yeah, it might be coming to look after your needs. Oh, another skill point for Freddy. Fantastic. So hopefully he can now make some more exciting lunches. And, oh, clean that counter at some point. So it looks like uh, Monica wants to make some best friends with, with Leo and with Zoe, which is pretty nice. Uh, we will lock them. Oh, she wants to throw a party. Yeah, I'll leave throwing a party locked in. We'll try and do that this season. And hopefully she'll be able to make best friends with them uh, sometime in autumn. Uh, Eloise has called up. Well, that's nice. Oh, and she's best friends. Lovely. Monica is everybody's friend in town at the moment. And with that in mind, I think they're going to go out to the pub tonight. I'll let Monica have a bath and then we'll send them out. So they're arriving at what I'm quite generously calling a pub. A pub is the White Llama. We'll send Monica to go and play with Leo. And Freddy could serve some drinks. Why don't you turn the bar, Freddy? See how that goes. Oh, we have a new townie arriving. Uopa Klein? Uopa? <laughs> what a fantastic name. I think a million years ago I installed the naming mods that I'm now actually seeing the results of. Um, oh, another townie as well. We have Amalia Kayser. Fantastic. Well, Freddy, never mind tending the bar. Come out and meet some people. We'll just uh, rob Leo of his five simoleons. Should we have signed up? Is that what we should have done? <laughs> we should be paying to be here. Sorry, Leo. Hmm. 
Oh, everyone wants a piece. What's so well? <laughs> so I'll greet Amalia and Europa and get to know those. And Monica can chat to Hikari. And maybe also to Leah. Okay, Freddy, what's your opinion? Okay, one bolt with Amalia and none well, negative chemistry with Europa. Which is helpful, I don't have to pronounce her name quite as much. We'll focus on uh, on Amalia. Oh, Leo's serving drinks, fantastic. Europa and Heidi can get to know each other. Let's have a closer look at Amalia. So red hair, blue eyes. Very pretty. But one bolt won't compete with three. We'll just see how they get on. Oh, playing fetch in the massive back garden of the pub. One day this is going to be amazing. This is going to be the place to be in Haven Rock on a Friday night. But for right now, it's a dark field on a Thursday. Uh, why are you going to get a drink? Get a blended one. Let's put Leo to work. Oh, did she leave? Well, go and chat with Europa. Go and join her playing some darts. There's no harm in that. <laughs> I'm not sure Monica bought that drink for you, but you've taken it. <laughs> well, this is fine. Have our old friends from the gardening club. Hey, chat a bit with Leo. Oh, unsuccessful. Oh well. Well, it's been a wild night. We should send them back uh, and let them get home so that Freddy can get to the shop nice and early tomorrow morning. So it's bright and early. Let's get them ready for the day. I think Freddy can make some breakfast. Once they get ready, let's have some oatmeal. Monica's been good. She's making the beds. I think they're both pretty. Oh, she's a bit more neat than Freddy is. So he's pretty, pretty sloppy. But he can make up for it by cooking. And then they can have some porridge. <laughs> Don't just stuff your face, Monica. There's breakfast. It's okay. Mm, Gonna have a nice breakfast together and then my aim is to get Freddy off to the shop we're gonna do some changing around of stock and what he's selling so we're gonna get that to be a little different off a few more things for the people of Haven Rock and uh, hope we have a good day of selling so I'll send Freddy off I'm gonna leave Monica at home so she can do her own thing for a while and uh, let's get Freddy sent off to work off the general store so he's got a few things he needs to restock. I'm thinking of changing this uh, kind of shelf of um, like decorative items. I'm going to get rid of those for now and replace that with some more hobby items. So yeah, I'm thinking about having a chess table. Oh, but put on wholesale mode, of course. Sell the nice one. And something creative. So I'm thinking an instrument or, or the easel would make a lot of sense. Let's sell an easel as well. Since Monica is the artist. And hopefully that will give them some more big items to buy rather than lots of little ones. And that can help with uh... mm. We've got Freddy selling. Just make sure they're for sale. They are. <laughs> So he's currently rank 5 in his business, doing very well indeed. Uh, let's have a look at the rewards he's taken. So he took the wholesale reward last time, so he'll be looking at some cash if he gets to the next rank today. 
So that might be pretty good. Let's see who comes in. It's that old favourite Joe. He's gone straight for the chess table. Freddy, it's your time to shine. Dazzle him. Don't be shy. Oh, and here we have William. William Fox is one of the new playables. And he's eyeing up a television. Let's go and meet him. Oh, and there's a star. Fantastic. What do we, well, we need 13 stars to get to the next level, so it may not happen today. Unless Freddy has just a fantastic day. Leo and Zoe have both turned up. They don't have much money, so they should be careful. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought Monica. Okay, silvery stocking badge. Fantastic. Oh, we have two of our townies in Elwyn and Blake. I wonder if at this stage we think about hiring an employee. Which you could do as somebody full-time to work for Till. Let's go and help out Blake. What are you looking for? You just turned up in town, you're living in a caravan. What's going to make things best for you? Oh, fuck William, you weren't feeling it. That's he just far too much. Mm. Let's get so excited about that poster. She's going to love it. Oh, a new townie as well. We have Ilya. Oh, <laughs> she's not just want to be seen. Ilya. Oh, Ilya. Very dramatic. Ilya Everard. You want an oven? It'll go very, very nicely in your tent. Oh, we even bought a chess table. Fantastic. I'm quite optimistic William just expressed an attraction to, uh, to Freddy. I do have hopes that uh, there's somebody for Carson and for Hikari in um, in the new batch of people that have arrived, so that could be quite good. Oh, we're being cleared out. Oh, I know, Leo, it's sold out, but there's no one to restock. Blake's buying something, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, we turned it around from being quite a way uh, in the red to very much in the green today. So this has been a good a good change. I think we can afford to hire somebody. Oh, William's already left, Carson. He came too late. Chase is confused, he can't see what he wants. He's looking everywhere for a dartboard. <laughs> Leo can't stop buying dartboards. He bought about four last rotation. He's got another one now. Oh, you're looking for a dartboard. It would have been there. Oh, hi, Portia. All the men you like are here. 
Clava. Oh, Elwyn is not going to go for that chessboard. <laughs> I think at that point we'll close the business up for five o'clock. Anyone who's bought something can buy it, and Freddy can head home. And we'll think about hiring someone, because I think we'll need it for this business. Oh, bye everybody. Except for Portia, she bought something fantastic. So Freddy's out for a few hours. Oh, Monica's found all the cockroaches. I think we just spray some of these. Okay, so I'm going to let Monica call somebody over, hang out for the day. We'll check her panels and see who she'd most like to kind of improve some relationship with. So let's have a look here. So we could try and repair things with Carson again, uh, but she's quite into Leo at the moment, so I think I'll invite him over. And if he brings Zoe, then that's fine as well. Well, let's, yeah, let's invite the whole household. They can both come over. Monica can entertain for the day. Okay, Leo's in. Zoe hasn't decided yet. And that's fair enough. I'm going to gossip about the local wolves. <laughs> Have you seen that dog? Being very, very strange. She's rolling a few wants to chat to Leo. Nothing too outrageous. Just building their relationship, which is very sweet. Oh, interesting. That has just changed. So Hikari, she now has a positive attraction to. Previously, that was that was negative. I wonder if it's negative from Hikari's side. So I'm curious. I'm just going to get uh, Monica to invite Hikari over as well. <laughs> just to see. Because I'm very intrigued. Because they're already friends. Come over as well. Oh, Hikari thinking about adoption. That could be a very viable path for her to take. Oh, oh, what? Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> I panic paused. What? Leo. Oh my goodness, what's he gone for? He's smooching. Oh, Monica's like, calm down, but that was alright. A little ACR intervention. Well, I don't watch the children's film, Leo has nothing to say. With Hikari here as witness. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> A crush and in love in the same second. You're not even the romance sim. Oh my goodness. Leo was ready to take a chance to shoot his shots and it worked. She's very much into it. About to trade one, three bolts for one. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Monica. Oh, back to painting, is it? Well, why not just listen to Leo some more? Oh yeah, and then there's some cockroaches to deal with. Where have they all come from? Spray them. Don't stomp, you'll get the entire town sick. <laughs> Freddy's home. <laughs> Everyone hates cockroaches. And it's raining. Well, why don't you spray him, Freddy? Let Monica rethink her actions for a second. That was very unexpected. <laughs> I know I invited them round to stir some drama. But I did not expect Leo just to pounce. No, I didn't kill him. Keep spraying Freddy. And they're upstairs, happily playing darts. Getting to know each other. Staying out of trouble. Get some spaghetti, Freddy. Oh, who's this? Jesse. 
Jesse Allen? Who's called? Oh, Eloise. <laughs> She's going to confess everything to Eloise. Oh, they're about to go and be casual upstairs <laughs> in front of their friends. You two might want to leave before this gets before this gets a little weird. Monica's about to make a very bold statement to Leo <laughs> about whose fiance she is. Do you two want to leave or anything? No? Cool. Just gonna just gonna stay there, are we? Yep. I'm gonna leave. Oh yeah, shoo him, get out. <laughs> Please. There they go. A little bit further than that, probably. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors in the corner. Shoo further. Get out. <laughs> oh, Leo, you're obstructing. <laughs> Just sit down and uh, kind of join in. Okay, well, this isn't going to happen. Freddy, go and use the bathroom. And then we'll try again. Why don't we we'll say goodbye to everyone? The cockroaches are a problem. Say goodbye. Everybody leave. You too, Hikari. And they're going to try again. No intervention needed from me. <laughs> they're just on it. I know all these people Freddy in your house. Making your life difficult. And now, too tired to woohoo. Just gonna have to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's quite funny, Monica. So, yeah, I feel Leo achieved his goal there of uh, obstructing them from uh, getting into bed together. So the morning's come round again, and this is now three days left in fall. And this is my plan to leave, um, leave Freddie and Monica here and get catch up with them next time. So I don't know yet whether I should do just another another recording with them, another episode with them. I'll get some leftovers, Freddie. So yeah, my options are to either have a second video with these two, part two, just following right on, or go around the uh, the rotation, go and meet William next in the next video. So if you do have a preference, let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time when with Freddie we'll be hiring some employees. <laughs> I think that's probably time for him. And uh, Monica can try and figure out her feelings and see, uh, see what her next steps are going to be. So thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>